Lucas Media. So, Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder, former WBC heavyweight champion, did an interview with 78 Sports TV today. Shout out to the general. And, you know, he said some good things in the interview. He got an upcoming fight with, uh, with Zang on June 1st. Pierbius had a fight last year, uh, last December, for against Joseph Parker, and he ended up uh, losing by a 12 round decision, unanimous decision. But I mean, but he said he feels good ever since he's been back in training camp. He actually said this is one of the best camps that he had, and that his body's not so sore as it normally is. And, you know, he, he also said that he feels like the old water is back. And he also talked about how his fans want to see water, the old water back. I think people, a lot of times you miss your superstars while you have them. Or you don't appreciate them, should I say. Because, you know, when water was talking about, you know, uh, deleting people in the ring, people didn't like that. But now that you, you got likes of Ryan Garcia writing RIP Devin Haney and, you know, boxing itself has gotten kind of more corporate. You see people wanting that back now. He said he lost interest in uh, in boxing, and honestly, I don't blame Wilder. You know, it's too many politics in boxing, and Wilder tried to fight Anthony Joshua for years. For years, we fans was into it with the UK fans, and you know, trying to get the fight. And do y'all remember when first they wanted Wilder to accept a what 15 million flat flat fee, and then. Uh, Anthony Joshua said give me 50 million up front guaranteed and then we can go forward along with the split Deontay Wilder and them said they came up with the money and then it didn't happen Eddie Herman was talking about TV rights and so on and so forth until fortunately Anthony Joshua lost to Andy Ruiz but you know stuff like that can be draining I know that was draining on him that was draining on me and I know that was draining on a lot of y'all who really just wanted to see the fight happen in the course of the interview 78 said that he feels that Wilder's going to stop Zang. Um, I think so, too. I do think that Zang will be a tough fight, but I feel that now Wilder, now that Wilder's had time in camp and, you know, to get some of that ring rust off, he's able to do it. Now, one thing I will also say is shout out to the Saudis because he went from fighting in November to now fighting in June. When it came to the PBC, you don't know when he would have fought. They might not have let him fight until 2030. He also mentioned that the Saudis are are, are a one, and uh, especially with relationships. And he's also glad that he somebody else sees his vision. And you know, I think the PBC was a great thing. And still, shout out to all the people who was able to make millions, regardless of how they feel. All those fighters made millions, but you know, the money might be running low, or even if that, just the business, the boxing is changing now. You see. Where 20 plus million people illegally watch the Usyk and Fury fight. But one thing about Saudi Arabia, they got so much money as far as, you know, the businessmen over there to, to really push the sport. Because think about it. They didn't came and they literally bought the PGA. They made the PGA merge with them, but they really are. They really own the PGA. And you see them also trying to get into other sports. But even like with boxing, right, there's a it's a free market. So, you know, they see a lot of potential in that to where a lot of boxers. This is my theory. I think that they want all the promoters and stuff to be under them. But it's still kind of a free market to a degree. But it's so much money thrown around that you can see the fights you want to see. Look how many fights we have saw within the last year since the Saudis got involved. You honestly think that most of these fights would have happened if they wouldn't have gotten involved? Absolutely not. Not. Because boxing is 95% playing games and the drama entertainment. 5% of the, is the actual fight. But the Saudis, you know, they see the vision. So I understand why they're doing what they're doing. And I'm glad that Wilder has a team, again, that can afford to, to pay him and also pay the opponents, that the fighters that they want to see. Wilder, you know, once he beats Zang, he'll be able to move up and fight against top contenders again. Because Eddie Hearn already came out and said that Wilder is a potential opponent for Anthony Joshua. A lot of these fighters are, are coming at the end, honestly. Even like with Joshua Wilder, Fury, and Usyk. So I can see them all 
I can see them finally wanting to fight Wilder. Because there was a lot of ducking going on for years with all these fighters. But I don't think Usyk will fight Wilder, but I think everybody else will now. So I do think that it's a definite potential for him and Anthony Joshua to finally fight in a bout that everybody around the world wanted to see. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.